Sacred Space with Tanika Lace, the podcast. I am Tanika, your host, and if this is your first time jumping in on this podcast, then welcome. This is a beautiful space for you to be empowered, to be inspired, and to shift your consciousness and your way of thinking to really realize how much you can trust yourself and how you do hold the magic within. So welcome. Today's episode is about the power of choice and how we always have a choice and it just comes down to us needing to make a decision to change things within our life and for us to begin to live the life or live our life on purpose. If you are wanting to keep up to date with me and my life and my beautiful business while we're not over here on the podcast platform, I invite you to follow me at on Instagram at sacred space w tanika lace and it's the same handle on tiktok so for today's self-love ritual i invite you to every day for the next week write down every morning when you wake up exactly how you're feeling so i actually have a diary just for this to write down where i'm at each day where my emotions might be how my body's feeling And, you know, it's how I track my cycle, but it's also really good to be able to reflect on where I am at, you know, the different periods of my cycle, but just also to look back on it. It's like a, it's like a short journal entry, but it's not quite in depth just to really keep like a score on where I am to understand if there's like any patterns that are playing out. So I invite you to do that just for the next week and see how that feels for you. And as for the quote of the week, this one is about trust. So trust that what you're going through right now is destined to bring you a brighter future. Trust that the hard choices you have to make align with who you are and who you want to become. Trust that your decisions and actions will only bring you closer to your purpose. It may be hard to believe that life has so much to offer you right now, but believing in yourself, your potential is your greatest achievement. And this is so powerful and this leads straight into the episode for today and how the power of choice is quite literally a superpower for us to continue to live in alignment with self and how when things don't feel aligned, we simply can make the choice to not show up in that setting. And it might sound easier than um, it, it feels, right? But I want to explain to you like the biggest time that I have trusted myself and how that has actually impacted my life so hugely. Looking back, I have collapsed years in my life. So it all began um, when I was not listening to the call from spirit, from my intuition, from my higher self. And this time last year, so in February, well, it actually began in January in 2022 and I got really sick with the big C and then I, you know, continued getting sick or our road kept flooding because where I live is like a flood area, flood zone. So the house doesn't usually flood, like our property is usually okay, but it's just we're on the river. So our road floods and we usually just, you know, get like um flooded out from being able to access civilization for a couple of days. So in January that happened. And then once I got better trying to go into my job, then it was like kept flooding just the road. And it was like, oh my gosh, okay. Something's trying to tell me not to go in there, but you know, ignoring the call. And I kept on trying to go to that job and not trust myself in my business. And then February, um, we had the big Queensland floods and we got hit by them quite um, badly because we live on the river and my whole business flooded, lost our cars, all the things. And then we, yeah, you know, got back into life. I went back to that job and I got sick again, (laughs) which is really rare for me to get so sick. So then I'm going back there and I'm thinking, why am I like, what is happening? Okay. I'm going to have to start thinking about, you know, the, the messages that have been coming in and that I don't, cause I kept on telling myself these stories of like, but it's safe here. It's comfortable here. And if I leave, I'm, I'm, I'm doomed. You know, I, I just couldn't, I was just like, if I leave here, it's over. Like I'm going to be broke telling myself all the things, even though I had steady clients coming in at that time, I was also telling myself that I needed like 40 clients a week to leave, which is ridiculous. I would never be able to do that many clients in a week. Um, 
that would be such a disservice to myself and to my clients because energetically I would not be able to show up. So <laughs> completely ridiculous limiting beliefs. Um, but yeah, so I, our road literally just kept flooding because like we had a lot of rain last year, but it was just kind of like the timing was really interesting because as soon as I left that job and finally said yes to my higher self, said yes to my soul mission, um, we actually have not, our road hasn't flooded since and it's been over a year so really interesting there because (laughs) um and I used to get a lot of flat tires as well and I haven't it's just yeah thinking back I'm like my angels were literally trying to stop me from going there as much as they could and I just kept on being like hey tire guy can you come fix my tires hey this person hey this person you know like just always just finding a way to like get to the job and just ignore so yeah once I left there it was like I slammed that door closed and I was like, I'm not like once I actually trust had that little, um, you know, pocket of self-trust come through and left the feeling in my body was so empowering because I realized, Oh my gosh, I can fucking do this and I can trust myself. And I had a lot of, you know, like feelings just coming up of why didn't I trust myself sooner, but also not shaming myself because even though I knew that I could have trusted myself sooner, it was a really big thing. Um, something in my life that I have really struggled with for, you know, up until even now, I still struggle with it on, um, in some layers, in some way is self-trust. So I've, I feel like I've, I've worked through a lot of it and in working through it. And especially since making this decision to leave that job, um, that was like only like eight or nine months ago, I, it really illuminated to me that my medicine, like a big part of my medicine for other humans is to illuminate that they can trust themselves. So it's really powerful. It's kind of like your um, biggest wound is also your medicine. So doing a lot of self-trust work and, you know, since leaving there, like I, it's opened up so much for me, like I just said, but I've really got to see some core wounding to do with my self-trust and how it is okay to lean into self and to intuition. And I'm a very, very intuitive person. And I get told that all the time. Plus I just know it for myself. Um, yet I still was doubting like the doubt piece, right? So I just want to remind you that if you are having something drop in and you know, it doesn't feel right, or you know, it's not right, or you know, you're not living in alignment, but you're kind of using that excuse of, oh, but just for now, I'm going to do this and then I'll do the thing. Or, but just for now, it's comfortable, it's safe, it's secure. And then I'll do the thing later when I'm ready. I just, I need to call you out on this and and tell you like, you're never going to be fucking ready. Like you are never going to be ready. And it's scary, right? And your ego will try and tell you that it's just not doable. But leaning into that and trusting self is so powerful, so empowering, like I just said. So if you are living, you know, your life right now and you know that there is some aspect of your life that isn't filling your cup, it's maybe taking from your cup or maybe it's even completely shattering the glass that's holding your water. (laughs) Um, I invite you to just sit with this. Is it a job? Is it a friendship, a relationship, a choice, a habit? And why? Why? Getting to the root of that, why does it feel like you can't make a choice for next level you, for your higher self? Why does it feel like you can't? Maybe it's the same as what I was experiencing with the job that I was in of it made me feel secure. It made me feel comfortable. I knew what I was doing. I knew everyone there. I knew, you know, the job. It was so easy to me. Um, Maybe that's what's keeping you because you're comfortable and your ego is like, no, we're going to stay on this level. We're going to stay here because we know what we're doing and we know it's safe. And when you get to the bottom of that, maybe via journaling, maybe just by checking in with your body seriously, sometimes just like holding your heart or your womb or just taking some deep breaths, however it looks for you. And just checking in with your body, you'll be like completely told the answer. So, you know, just checking in, journaling, however that looks, um, and really just seeing, is it because it makes me feel safe? 
Is it because it makes me feel loved, wanted, needed? What is it fulfilling that you feel like you cannot fulfill for yourself? And from there, I invite you to choose. Are you going to continue playing into these limits to these stories? Or are you going to simply make the choice to begin to show up for next level you? And, you know, it doesn't have to be as drastic as like walking in tomorrow and quitting your job or breaking up with whoever you're with that's not filling your your cup or, you know, ending a friendship. It doesn't need to be that dramatic. Maybe you just need to begin with sitting with self and just journaling. Like, Why is this wounding coming up? What is it triggering in me? Why do I feel like I can't trust myself in this decision? And sitting with yourself and asking yourself that question over and over every single day. And I feel like it can be really beneficial because then you begin to see that the limits and the stories that you're placing on yourself from making this decision are just all bullshit. (laughs) Most of the time anyway, you know, like you tell yourself silly stories like, But if I leave this job, I'll never be able to get another job, which is not true. Um, So, yeah, you know, trusting yourself and also trusting that it might feel like really hard right now and it might feel like you can't get through it. But once you make that choice, you'll be looking back at this and going, holy shit, I just quantum leaped so much. Holy shit, I am. Look at all that I've achieved in this short period of time. And I can say this from experience because it was only like eight or nine months ago that I left that job. And I am telling you right now, it feels like it's been like years and years and years. Even everyone in my close proximity does not believe me when I'm like, it hasn't even been a year yet because I said yes. And it showed me that I can trust myself. So I kept leaning into that trust and it is still a scary thing for me to do. Sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. But you just you know, I sit with it. I sit with why is this coming up? Why does it feel this way in my body? And I, I, I begin to clear it. And I, like I said, this is an ever going journey. And I feel like there's, you know, where every um, level, there's a new devil. So we feel like, oh my gosh, I've gotten through all this stuff. Oh my gosh, there's even more here. <laughs> I just want to speak into another little piece here with um, like making a choice and how the limiting stories and the beliefs can come up limiting beliefs can come up and I want to like put it into a more digestible form so that you can really understand why it's really important to work through these limiting beliefs that you have coming up just by journaling every day, sitting with self every day and beginning to realize how how silly they are. So a belief is an assumed truth, right? So it's backed because like you maybe you you got it from watching your mom always saying the same thing at growing up so then you believed that that's true because you you trust your mom or maybe it's because your friend group had a an opinion about something and so that's now your belief but it's time to begin to rewrite those beliefs because when you place those limits and those blocks in front of yourself it is completely stopping you from making the choice to show up in a higher frequency in your truth and like we want to be here in our truth we want to know our magic we want to live in alignment and we want to feel like complete love in life so a belief they are like a table so if you imagine a table the the table top so the top of like the wood you know like where you put your plates and you eat from um the top of the table that is where the belief is the legs to the table are the experiences, the stories, the the emotions that are attached to the belief that you have. So like I said, maybe you you grew up watching your mom always saying like, I can't eat this because it'll make me fat. So then you, that's your story, right? And so the, that's holding the, the belief up there. That's like pedestaling it. Like, well, I can't eat that because I'll get fat. The glue is actually the emotion. So the glue is like the emotions holding it together. So it's all really connected. It's all one, but it's, it's connected in this way of like the very top is the belief. The legs are the experiences and the stories and the glue is the, um, the emotions attached to this. Emotions are energy in motion. So we need to allow them to flow through. And in doing that, we need to rewrite the belief that we have by sitting with it acknowledging the belief 
but but just m- allowing it to move through. There's no need to hold on to or hold resentment for anyone that this belief may have come from or where it stemmed from. It's just about acknowledging and then letting go. So to do like when we do this, it's just so that our brain can like comprehend. I watched this this here growing up or I have deep trust in this person and this is their belief. So now I've taken that on and it's just about acknowledging that and then moving forward because remembering like our beliefs literally shape the world that we live in. So if we're like believing that we're like, I can't do this, I can't make that decision, then you're never going to make it. So it's about like really just like moving through all those beliefs that limiting beliefs that are coming up so that you can step into that next level. So yeah, the table example is just so perfect for the beliefs because it's really good for visual people and I'm a visual person. So really, really helps me. Um, So yeah, with this, you know, basically the message within this podcast episode today is about the power of choice and how once you make that decision for self, things will begin to unfold just as they are meant to and probably at rapid speeds. And, you know, when the limits come up, when the stories come up, I've given you a bunch of tools that you can use to begin to unpack this on your own and also knowing it is not weak to ask for support. It is like completely like it is quite necessary, really, in my opinion, to also be working alongside another healer or someone in some sort of degree that you can can work through these things with, because this can be like really deep wounding and why you are having these self-trust issues. But I promise you, as soon as you begin to lean into trust, it is so empowering. You're going to look back and go, why did I ever doubt myself? Um, I also want to like preface that when you you lean into trust and you, you make that decision, sometimes it can feel really scary and you can be like, oh my gosh, I just did the thing. And then you don't straight away see the results. Sometimes it doesn't move as quick. Sometimes you get that spaciousness from the universe to just digest and comprehend everything that you've just done because making that choice can be so big that you need the time to integrate it, right? And this is where it is really important to hold your vision, hold your vision in in why you've made this decision, this choice for your next level self, for your higher self and continue holding that in your heart and coming back to that. May that be your anchor point. May your goals that you're working towards be your anchor point and know that that even in the times when it is really tough and I, I've probably said this already on this um, recording, when, when, things are, when things are hard and they're feeling tough, you're going to look back on this and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I'm in such a good space right now because that version of me chose the higher frequency. You're going to look back and you're going to go, thank God I made that choice for myself and I didn't, and I didn't make it for everyone else around me. I did it for me, for filling up my cup. I chose love over fear. And like I've said, you don't need to be like going out there making really dramatic changes in your life when you use the power of choice. It can simply be showing yourself a little bit of trust. Maybe you really um, struggle to like finish a task. This was actually something I've just like recently been really, really anchored in on is I have this really big issue with like, well, not anymore. This is like past version of me, um, filling up the ice cube tray and shutting cupboards. (laughs) It sounds so silly and so simple, but my whole life I leave every single cupboard open, every single door open. I'm just I don't even know, like I'm just really not good for it. And um, also the ice cube tray, I'll make my ice latte in the morning and I'll just put the ice cube tray on the bench. And then I want to make like another coffee later on in the day or just like a smoothie and I'll be like, why did I not just fill up the ice cube tray? Why did I leave that there? (laughs) And it's like this habit that I just couldn't break. It's like I'm so good at showing up for next level me, so good at showing up for like, you know, making um, my future self have a more easeful time. But these things, I just couldn't stop doing. Like the cupboard door thing was just next level. Hello, beautiful soul. I wanted to drop in and let you know about my newest offering, which I have launched over on my Instagram, Authentically You. This is a 10-week journey being in my world. It includes five bi-weekly healing sessions, which are individually channeled for what you and your soul needs. You will receive Monday to Friday Voxer access where I will mentor you and reflect back to you any blind spots, any shadows, any stories that you're playing into that are disallowing you from stepping into your truth. 
you'll also receive free access to any events held throughout our time together. This offering is online or in person, depending on your location. This is open for all, and this is for the woman who is ready to activate her truth, to completely step into her power, to show up as authentically you. I would love to hear you over on my Instagram or click the link in the show notes below if this is you. Let's meet authentically you. So what I've been anchoring in on is trusting myself enough to remember to close the cupboard doors and fill up the ice cube trays. And it's almost like a little reminder every single time I make my coffee. Okay, make sure you fill up the ice cube trays, put them away, make sure you shut the cupboards. And in doing this, it might sound so little, but because it was something that was really bugging me and I just couldn't get it, get on top of now that I'm doing it, I feel like I'm building even deeper self-trust because I promised myself I'm going to try really hard to get the cupboard door cupboard door shut every single time I use them and I'm going to yeah fill up the ice and I've been sticking to that and I'm just noticing and there's more um tr- self-trust being illuminated to me and more things are divinely working out because I'm like oh my gosh I can do the thing so yeah just there's a few little examples through there for you to just see that, you know, it's, it is difficult. It is hard, especially if you've never lent into trusting yourself before, especially if you've been told, you know, a lot of your life that, that make maybe the choices that you've made aren't correct, um, that you, you can start now and it doesn't have to be big. It can be so small. It can be so simple. And also please knowing that I'm always here and you can always reach out to me. Um, Instagram is probably the best space. My, um, handle is, at sacred space w tanika lace and like we can have a chat if you need support in this like completely this is a big thing trusting self but like i said the power of choice is here you have the choice to change your life every single morning you have the choice do i want to get up early and begin my day with exercise with drinking water with all the things or do i want to lay in bed and then feel sorry for myself when i wake up really late you know the power of choice it's always there you've always got it in every situation you can choose do I want to choose next level me or do I want to choose to you know play into the old patterns that I'm trying not to repeat so I hope you enjoyed this episode I would absolutely love to hear what you think of it please um subscribe rate and review the show all the things i am loving all your kind words that i receive over in my messages if you have tiktok i also invite you to follow me there which is at sacred space w tanika lace i do a daily oracle um, guidance over there which is really cool really fun i'm really loving doing that and yes oh my gosh incredible so good to be back in your ears this week thank you for listening i love you so much and don't forget trust the process. The choice is yours. I love you. I trust you. Now you have to love yourself and trust yourself. Bye.